Hey guys and welcome back to another Guild Wars 2 guide. Today we're going to be talking about Ascended Gear and Ascended Weapons. I want to keep this guide as short and sweet as I can so let's get started. There are a few prerequisites you're going to need before you can get started. Firstly, you're going to need a maxed out crafting profession. Once you've got all that sorted out, you're going to need recipes for whatever it is you're trying to make. This works the same for both weapons and armor. Go to the crafting station that corresponds to the type of armor or weapon that you need to make. And then go ahead over to the Master Crafter. By telling the Master Crafter you need some supplies, you can see a whole bunch of stuff that you can buy. Now if you go all the way on the left hand side to the second to last bag, and then scroll all the way down for 21,000 karma, you should be able to buy an inscription or insignia depending on whether or not you're making weapons or armor. Further down on the final tab you should be able to see the recipes for every piece of gear or the weapon that you want to make. Each recipe requires five laurels and three gold. Once you've purchased all of your recipes you have to learn them for your account so make sure that you double click on each one and pick the corresponding stat type that you want. So for instance, if you want a Berserker's Greatsword, make sure that you choose the Berserker's Greatsword recipe, but also you choose the Berserker's Inscription. Likewise, make sure that if you want Berserker's Gear, you choose the Berserker's Insignia. So now that you got all that out of the way, there's one other resource that you need to take into consideration when making this stuff, and that is your free time. A few of the materials required to make ascended gear are actually time gated, meaning you can only craft one per day. That being said, you're going to need several to craft each piece of gear or even just one weapon. A glob of elder spirit residue, lump of mithrilium, spool of silk weaving thread, and the spool of thick alonian cord all can only be crafted once a day and those build into the materials you make ascended gear out of. To give you an example of just how time consuming this can be, let's use the Berserker's Greatsword as an example. This requires Deldramore steel ingots. Now these ingots can only be made with mithrilium that can only be made once per day. In total, this item requires nine Deldramore steel ingots, so you're already sitting at nine days right there. Now this item also requires three spirit wood planks. Spirit wood planks require globs of elder spirit residue, which are again time gated, but because these are different items, you can craft them within the same day. The second hardest item to come across are the lesser vision crystals or vision crystals. These aren't time gated, but they take a long time to build, or at least they can if you don't have the resources. These crystals are built out of dragonite ingots, imperial stars, and bloodstone bricks. These items all have pretty similar recipes, but there's one thing that's a little bit different, and that's the base material needed to craft it. For Dragonite ingots, you're gonna need Dragonite ore. For Imperial stars, you're going to need Imperial fragments. And for Bloodstone bricks, you're going to need Bloodstone dust. Not only that, but you're going to need 100 of each of these per ingot, star, or brick. Now in my experience, the best way to get these materials is doing content outside of Core Tyria. There are definitely ways to get these materials within the confines of the main game, but they just kind of throw them at you after that point, and so I feel like it's a really good idea to play Living World Season 2 and 3 and the Heart of Thorns expansion because those items just seem much more commonplace at that point in the game. So once you've finally got all the ingots, stars, and bricks that you need for whatever you're trying to make, you're still going to need the final fourth component, and that is the Agurus Stone. These stones can be acquired at the vendor near the Mystic Forge and Lion's Arch in exchange for Spirit Shards. Spirit Shards are obtained when you use a Tome of Knowledge at level 80 by completing your daily quest, sometimes just as random loot, or if you've already completed all of your masteries and you gain one player level, you'll be allotted some then as well. It'll cost you 20 shards, to get one stone so keep that in mind that's six stones for a set of gear and one per weapon so now you got a good handle on what exactly it takes to make ascended gear head over to your crafting station of choice and look at the item that you're trying to make for this guide, I'm going to head over to the tailor and look at the Ascended Light Armor. If you compare the chest piece to the other pieces of gear, 
you can see that the chess piece requires a vision crystal while the rest only require lesser vision crystals. Also, you can see every piece of gear requires one insignia. Ascended insignias are built out of their exotic counterparts, five globs of dark matter, ten crystalline dust, and three damask patches. The exotic insignia, if you don't already have it, can be purchased in the same place that you got the ascended insignia from the master crafter. The components required to make it are pretty basic, and if you've crafted all the way to 500, you have a pretty good idea of how to put these together. Globs of dark matter are received when you salvage a high-level piece of exotic gear with a good salvage kit. Crystalline dust can be purchased from the auction house or obtained from a laurel vendor if you get a heavy bag of crafting materials. And if we look into what builds into these damask patches, we can see that it takes one bolt of damask mask and one leather alonian square. Again, these are some materials that require a once a day material to make. Now the bolt of damask and alonian leather square can be purchased from the auction house all by themselves, but they are very expensive as they are time gated materials. One bolt of damask requires a spool of silk weaving thread, but if you look above that, it only requires 20 bolts of wool, 10 bolts of cotton, and 20 bolts of linen all pretty easily obtainable items, but unfortunately that final item can only be crafted once per day. If we look at the spool of silk weaving thread itself, you can see it requires 100 bolts of silk, a glob of ectoplasm, and 25 spools of gossamer thread. So you'll see even the items it takes to craft these once a day items are not too bad. Alright, so let's say you've got your vision crystal, you muscled through, and you got your berserker's insignia, and you look down and see that there are still two more components, a damask coat lining and a damask coat panel. If you've been following along, you might notice right away damask is in the title, so there's some more time-gated materials. If you look at the coat lining, it takes one bolt of damask, but everything else is pretty fair. And if you look at the damask coat panel, it actually takes four bolts of damask and one alonian leather square. So if you could be patient and log in frequently to bang out these once a day crafting materials, it's not so bad. You just gotta work it into your daily routine. Once you've got the vision crystal, the insignia, and the two components necessary for whatever gear you're trying to make, click craft and you're finally done with that one piece of gear. You still have five more to go. All Ascended gear works this same exact way, so even if you're making a weapon, the inscription is going to require some kind of time-gated material, and then the components are going to require more time-gated materials. If I had any advice on the best way to handle this, especially if you're going for the gear and not so much the weapons, it would be to log in every day that you can, get your daily login reward because it'll get you those laurels you need for the recipes, and then do your daily because every time you complete your daily you get two gold which will again help in the long run. Whether it's to buy those recipes or to buy components to speed up this process, gold is the only way you're really going to be able to fast track this process. Once you're done with your daily be sure to play content that's either going to get you a lot of gold or at least gets you those Dragonite or Imperial Fragments or Bloodstone Dust. And, and I think this goes without saying, make sure to craft every day one of those once a day components that you can only craft once a day. I would even recommend crafting them regardless of whether or not you need them, because at the end of the day you might run an alt that needs ascended gear one day, or you might want to make some of that money back, and what better way to do that than make these once a day materials and sell them on the auction house. So after all this being said, I want to make mention of the fact that Ascended Gear is only a 5% increase from Exotic Gear. You do gain the ability to add infusions to your gear, which is great if you're trying to do higher level Fractals of the Mist, but for the most part, you're getting a 5% damage increase, or stat increase, and you're unlocking some pretty cool skins for your wardrobe, but is it worth that effort? I think I'm gonna leave it there guys. I'd love to know what you guys think about this process in the comments. Uh, if I left anything out, please feel free to inform people. That's my number one when it comes to these guides. I'm just trying to help people with stuff that I used to struggle with. So I hope someone out there found this informative. 
Anyway guys, thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.